igen Erik. Ja, kom igen. And as you can see, I sent the project. Like absolutely incredible. I don't know what to say. It's like um, balance is not perfect. Balance is not where it needs to be to go out and push hard outdoors, but it's on the right track and that's all I need. All right, so we're back in the sofa, and you know when you're in the sofa, or when I'm in the sofa, that's gonna be a story. And this story has, uh, like the other stories, uh, the good parts, the bad parts, uh, the fumbling, uh, so I need to clear up some things. Because um, I've got a lot of people writing that, you know, the channel is dying, I'm not really producing any videos. Yeah, I kind of just had to cop out from the intro and not make the video try hard just because it's like it's too difficult now because it's that I started doing that video like six months ago or this that part of this video six months ago and a lot of shit has happened since then. A bit of catching up I guess it's that I got deaf, I'm still deaf from the right ear, my balance system uh, is still broken and um, that's what happened last summer and I got a bunch of medicine or drugs to try and fix certain things. Um, and obviously the doctor is like, yeah, it's very low, low chance that you'll get any more complications from those things. Uh, and obviously it's, you know, it's my body, it's never the easy way out. I got those complications with the wounds in the mouth. Uh, it was like, like my entire inside of my mouth was covered. So I couldn't eat for three weeks and I was in like the most pain I've ever been in my life. <laughs> it's like I was like sitting watching people eating on YouTube because I was like so desperate, so hungry to just eat. It's like, it's... I can see a smile here about it because it sounds so ridiculous, but like, yeah, that's um, uh, what the start of that video or sort of this video kind of represents. By that point, you know, I'm a bit like, okay, a lot of shit happens that isn't supposed to happen and I haven't been feeling so like epic the last year or two. I've always felt like kind of tired. I never, I told Emil and Nick in this a lot of times, it's like, no, I never feel like weightless on the wall. I remember back in the days when I actually trained and stuff like that and when I was younger. It's gone like five years by then since I actually trained a lot. I was like, damn, I like, I remember the idea of a low gravity day, but these days I never feel it. I always feel heavy on the wall. Even though I had progression, I always felt heavy. I just felt like maybe I should just go to like some sport nutritional person and just let that guy like check me out, like try something else. Cause like just going to the hospital, doing my blood work, everything looks good. And still like things go wrong. So I was like, you know, fuck it. Like I'll, I'll invest in my body now. Like I've seen what it is to have a, a body that you can't even go to the toilet by yourself with. Uh, and I mean, I'm not getting any younger. So I looked up some dude, uh, he's in, he owns a company like Fisiolabet, takes care of like elite athletes in Sweden. I go to him and I explain kind of the scenario, scenario that I always feel like heavy, can't really train on the way that I think I should be able to train. And he's like, well, let's just try your lactic acid level in your body. Uh, so he's like, if a, norm, a normal person should have like 1.0 lactic acid, I can't remember the formula per deciliter plot or something. So he's like, one is normal, four is like if you're elite athlete and you're like absolutely annihilated yourself. So he's like, let's just try yours because what you're talking about does sound like potential high lactic acid levels. And then we tried it <laughs> and my lactic, lactic acid levels was 6.7 just sitting there. So he's like, yeah, it's no wonder with these levels that you're feeling exhausted and, uh, <laughs> you know, he's like, it's like your body's like you're running 24 seven. And it's like, how, how long could I have had this? And he's like, it's hard to say. I mean, if you felt like shit, not shit, but if you haven't felt good training wise for a couple of years, like this could have been it. So like a big eye opener. And obviously like there's a nutritional aspect of it. I don't want to get into too much of those details, but he's like, yeah, let's try eat a, a complex supplement of B vitamin and take some natural uh, anti-inflammatory and then let's go 30 days and see if, if, it, if it's better. 
So then I did that and I came back and then a month later my lactic acid levels was normal, which was like fucking, that was crazy. And I could feel it on the wall that I was like, oh, this, it feels different. But then now comes the kicker. Since everything has happened, I mean, for the last couple of months, I haven't slept that well um, at all. So I was like feeling kind of trash, not sleeping so well and always going through everything. But I, d I definitely felt some difference. So I'm like, okay, like that. Okay, now it's going to be like an like anime moment. It's like, you know, now I'll show everyone what I'm truly capable of. So I started going to the gym and being like super motivated and like, fuck yes, like now, now it's the time. Um, but then as the week went by, my sleep just continuously got worse and worse and worse. And then when it become, when it's become that bad, I was like, damn, maybe, you know, I starting to get insomnia. So I started looking up all the symptoms and it's like, okay, yeah, so I, I have insomnia. Because like the last couple, maybe weeks, nearly a month, I've been averaging three, four hours sleep a night. So I was like, okay, <laughs> this shit needs to be fixed. Like I need to get back into the game. Uh, so I just started to like min-maxing my sleep, um, more or less, just like trying to sort everything out. So I just continuously started grinding with the sleep. And then two months into it of like sleeping three, four hours per night, waking up maybe 10, 11 times, I'm like, this is not working. And then, over, and then I talked to... So talk to some people about it, and they're like, "Well, what you've gone through, it's like it's trauma. It's no wonder you don't. It's no wonder you you're not. You no, know, it's no wonder you have a hard time like sleeping. You've got on all these things that like fucked your sleep for months. Now you're since you have been so sleep deprived, like your hormones is all messed up. Like your anxiety and your stress is is through the roof, and it's not necessarily anything to do with your lifestyle. It's just like it's just been too long." of like, like a very hard imbalance. So I was like, okay, that's a big problem because now it's gone a lot of months and the YouTube channel is, well, my life, my everything around me has been slowly burning. You, you can't like try put out these fires anymore. You just like, you just gotta survive now. So then I had like a decision. It's like, okay, I need to find out like what's the minimum amount I could do every day for progression. Even if I don't sleep, what's, what is the one thing I can do to like move forward? And it could be like, yeah, you, you edit a video for like 20 minutes that day. And then next day you do another 20 minute session. So, I mean, now with the balance, since I, in, during this whole process, I've learned to like, relearn to walk and climb again, I think around three, four times. So that's what I've been doing for the last, the insomnia thing has been, keep, been going on now, up until the beginning of this month. So I've had insomnia for like six, seven months, I guess. So that's why I haven't uploaded that many videos and why everything has been shite. The one thing that changed drastically uh, with insomnia was actually listening to a dude who has a podcast that Huber, has a podcast that is called Huberman Labs. So he's like this professor from Stanford in neuroscience and like about, about like human performance. And he said like the first thing you need to do, and that's every human of every day, is to go out straight out in sunlight or if it's cloudy, you just go outside for 10 to 20 minutes and get the sun on you. Because you need that uh, for your body to start a lot, of a lot of different systems to just be functional optimally. And he's like, if you're sitting out, if you're sitting inside, even if you let the light from outside inside, it takes 50 times longer to get the same effect. And my life, the previous years has been like, I wake up and sit and edit inside all day and then I go train. So my first, my first sunlight, I guess maybe it could be like four or five in the day. And like, <laughs> so I was like, okay, like, fuck, like, let's just try that then. And then on day three of doing that, just going outside, outside, get the sun, um, I could fall asleep at 10 o'clock. So like that, like, that blew my mind. Um, and obviously it could be a bit of placebo in that, um, but I mean, it's also heavily researched. So I think that for me, it's like, for anyone out there that just want to be a better athlete, better person, it's like, read the book Why We Sleep, listen to Huberman Lab podcast, and just get educated on, on these things, because that like this has changed my life. Yeah, that's 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 it, that's the story. That's why I've failed a lot, uh, and why the channel's been dying, and everything around me has been dying, and I've just been trying to get back to my old life, or my reality. So as of right now, I'm still like on 7A. Um, just got back to 7A. Last week I kind of slept bad a few days, I, could, I didn't even feel comfortable walking up a ladder. 
I have a lot of work to do. But I, I just sort it out. Obviously, life is a lot better now than it was a couple of months ago. My camera died here a bit. So, it's been a lot of fucking talking now, but now you know, and I feel good. I got a tan, I feel healthy, I'm on the right track, I learned a lot, I'm a better human, uh, I think at least. So I'm, def I'm gonna go to back to Jack's Broken Heart um, this autumn or late summer, just to at least squeeze the holes, get a bit of recycled again. Uh, this, this series is obviously gonna be a lot longer than when you first, what I, what I first planned for. Um, and I haven't been outside since I lost the balance. So the goal is to go out and, and try some outdoor climbing and specifically the 7A I did in episode one, I think. Uh, and you'll see how I feel if I can redo it, if I feel comfortable. So that's what I'm actually gonna do um, tomorrow with Emil and Felix. So that's gonna be, that's gonna be really interesting. So we just cut the video to when I go outside and climb with Emil and Felix and then uh, I guess we will see how it goes for the future me. The boy is back, one year later. This lens is way too tight for this. It's about to get crushed. Hey! <laughs> On the, yeah, exactly. Dig your left foot in there. Fuck, I need stretch. I'm cold. <laughs> cold and nervous. God damn it. <gasps> the holes aren't chalked up right now, so... <laughs> I'm ready. This guy. I'm, I'm so ready for this. Razor blades. Love it. Boom. No, no. Damn, didn't reflash that shit. Yeah, you haven't also chalked up any of the holds. No, sh am I supposed to do that? Are you hey, you're my, you were supposed to be my coach here. Yeah, but I was, no, I'm your filmmaker, dude. I can't, I can't do everything for you. Well, I guess I had two, but Felix, what happened there, I'm man? I'm busy with Darren. Okay, Emil, I'll take our camera. You brush a bit. <laughs> <laughs> Doki! Terry! Hello! My god. Hey, my man. What would you do without me, Eric? Not sure. Probably would have quit a long time ago. <laughs> then again, what would you have done without me? Yeah, Emily? that's the other question. That's the <laughs> real question, man. Perfectly balanced, <laughs> as all the things should be. Quoting Thanos, are we? Yeah. <laughs> okay. Nice. No. Go straight to this one. But I went, which one did I go to? to the lower one. I did? Yeah. Oh, damn. So Desperation. It's gonna be good. Damn, out the white balance. Can so you jump to this one, right? Yeah. Don't forget this. Little oh yeah, the pinch, yeah. Then you have a jug here. Like honestly, it's... Yes, come on. Okay, okay buddy. Now I better bleed also. Come in, Maxa. Yo. Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Emil told me I should do something. Say something cool, like something cool. This is the, you know, this. Is All right, you ready? Yeah. I'm gonna send this ball the next try. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Time for the sand go down. Did promise it. Yeah. <laughs> Did promise it. I do believe in you. Ooh, solid. Ja, kom igen nu. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> Desperate. God. Oh. That feels good. We waited one year to do that shit. Oh, God damn. All right, nice. 
and I can go home celebrate with a donut. <laughs> so you've got a rope, yeah, a rope right here. But you can also, yeah, you can sort of walk down from over there. Yeah, I just need to collect myself. I'm like, thank you, man. Well done, man. That's a solid send, if I may say so myself. Couldn't have done it without my coaches slash masters. So, I felt real good to make this video and this ending. This is everything I've hoped on it to be. Um, and uh, this summer, it's gonna be a lot of outdoor climbing, I'm hoping. Obviously, it's not gonna be in very good conditions. But I just wanna like, get a lot of climbing done. Because, um, yeah, the balance, I have a lot of catching up to do. But today was a step in the right direction, so I'm real happy. And I'm, yeah, I'm real hungry to step up the game again. Uh, I've been dreaming about it now for a year. I have, you know, over a thousand epic songs. And I've seen all these videos, so I just need to make them happen. So hopefully you haven't given up on me just yet. Okay. Thank Mad you. Mad respect, dude. Mad respect. Thanks, homie. <laughs>